What's up guys, uh, checking in on uh, my regular video blog here at stage start, stage six. It's been a crazy race so far. I mean, last time I checked in, I just crashed, just lost time in GC, was a bit disappointed. Now it's been uh, uh, four days since and uh, it's been uh, pretty easy going. Took it easy in the time trial yesterday. I took it easy the last few days, feeling pretty recovered. And uh, yeah, I've just been kind of almost on the Grand Fondo plan, just relaxing. I'm not trying to lose too much energy and just uh, trying to lose a bit more time just so that I can be uh, riding well uh, when we hit the mountains and going after uh, individual stages. It's been a lot of drama, drama still despite the fact that we've had some easy stages. Stage 3 was just ridiculously dangerous, too dangerous in my mind. Yeah, the course was just crazy and there were some big wrecks, big crashes and it was uh, really disappointing to uh, see so many good guys go down but also to see that that race course was approved by the UCI, by ASL. 73 kilometers an hour, flat out, downhill. Matty Morich finds himself. Oh, another big crash. Loads of riders hit the deck on that turn. Today Pogacar there. Pogacar in the white jersey has also fallen. Who's going to strike first? Malia. Oh! Big crash by Caleb Ewan tied up with Peter Sagan there. Yeah, it was just not well done and not well uh, managed. And afterwards, uh, the riders were quite upset with the uh, conditions. So we staged a protest the following day on stage four. And in my mind, we didn't do great, a good enough job. Uh, we did protest, we did stop, but it wasn't uh, long enough. And I think, and I think we didn't. Uh, we weren't unified in terms of really demonstrating a, a true message. I think we need to be able to take a page out of uh, bigger pro sports books, be willing to really walk. Uh, when, we, when we actually do something, uh, when we actually strike. Uh, if you look at uh, NHL, for example, where, uh, team, where players are willing to be for an entire season, we only did you know a one-minute stop and then uh, we rolled easy for 10K. We need to be willing to sacrifice even more, I think. But uh, at least we were unified in terms of making a strike and saying something. And then finally, uh, the next two days were quite safe, uh, but that was already in the cards. Anyways, uh, got another easy day on tap today sprint that was originally supposed to be crosswinds but it's going to be uh, I think low winds and just first day where we have sun and above 20 degrees so it's going to be a nice day to just enjoy and then I have one more day where I can relax and then I'm looking at stage eight to go on the break uh, that's going to be a really important day so look for me to check in later and uh, hope everyone's enjoying watching the tour on full bikes.